Colorado. If you've been following the channel, you know we got this as a rental car uh, when we dropped the Audi off to have some warranty body work. I apologize if we're getting a lot of wind noise right now. It's a little windy in this film location, uh, but we got the Colorado today and we're gonna be taking this Colorado on a road trip. This is a little different video than I normally do, but I'm gonna do a road trip. We'll test the fuel economy on this, as well as how its drive capabilities are. And then we're gonna to go to Oceano State Beach. Uh, it's uh, um, like Pismo Beach, basically. You could drive on the, um, the sand. So we're gonna test it out in the sand today. So we'll test out the fuel economy also. So we're gonna be checking this uh, Colorado out and uh, see how it drives to Oceano State Beach. So, uh, and then we'll check, check out its uh, off-road capability in the sand too, if they let us on the beach today. That's a big if. Uh, they only let about a thousand uh, vehicles on the beach at any given point. Uh, so if we're not there before they reach their count, uh, they won't let us on. So, so let's hit the road now and get out of here and uh, check out this uh, Colorado. So we're gonna be on the road quite a while. Uh, if I see anything worth stopping for, I will go ahead and stop and uh, get back with y'all. But for now, let me continue this drive. changed much uh, just farmland pretty much central California farmland uh, that's typical now as for fuel economy we're averaging 20.8 miles per gallon over 92 miles so far so just under a hundred miles granted that's a uh, me passing people and driving my usual style um, I'm a little impatient I tried to drive you know normal and uh, try to get a best of fuel economy as possible but I can't do it I just I couldn't do it so this is um, I would say I wouldn't say aggressively driving but I would say this is the fuel economy spiritly driving so if you're a spirited driver um, on the highway and freeways I'm getting about 20.8 miles per gallon over uh, just under a hundred miles uh, so far reported ahead. Check him out there, trying to be slick. Yeah, he thought he was slick and was going to catch us, but thanks to Waze, another ticket avoided. So if y'all ain't using the Waze app when you guys are traveling, even moving through town, y'all better get with it, because uh, Waze will save you a lot of money and tickets to keep you away from the law enforcement. Get that app. It's good. Alright, so uh, I'm going to let y'all go and then I'm going to cut back to y'all further along down the road. Alright. 
All right, so, so um, we're on this little road trip, as you know, but I had to stop by because I had to get something to eat, and then I saw this here on the side of the road, so I wanted to just peep it. You know how we like to um, feature these hot rods, and uh, the this one's a rat rod. You know we like the rat rods, too. So I just wanted to stop, get a quick peep at it. Uh, since I was off the highway anyways, this thing's dumped down to the ground. I don't think it has a suspension in it yet. Uh, looks like just a project car. They got the top chopped on it. They got some tack welds in there uh, Just to try to put the body back together. So yeah, this is just a project car at this point You can see where they made the cuts there to do the chop top uh, Again, everything's just tack welded at this point four link suspension back there looks like a nine inch rear end uh, But at this point, I don't see any springs so it's just laying frame on the ground right now transmission i don't know if that's going to be the shifter set up with a connecting rod but that's kind of cool and then you got the army ammo can there so this is cool i like it they're keeping the tank up front here you got a return and a vent looks like it's going to feed the engine straight here uh off of these bulkhead fittings uh, so you got the vent and then the return. I don't see um, a delivery line or a feed line for the engine. So I'm not sure where they're putting that. But this is cool. The welds look good. You can see there some nice welds. Again, this looks like just a mock-up block. Um, just to kind of mock up the setup. So yeah, it's a cool little um, project custom frame it looks like it's been boxed in uh, on both sides it's boxed that uh, radiator support looks beefy um, and it looks like he's gonna set it up with airbags here because you can see the airbags down there uh, on the suspension in the front it's like a, a kind of a ladder bar set up in the front here and it's got this long drag link here uh, for the steering so that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like it's a 33 roof. Um, I don't know what these notes are, but possibly a 33. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I like it. And he's got his hydraulic brake set up there with the master cylinders mounted right off the pedal. Uh, and that's bolted right to the frame. But this is a pretty cool little ride. Again, just a quick little stop. I got off the highway just to get something to eat. And I was about to take a turn and saw this. So I said, I better stop and take a look at it closer, you know. This is a car channel. Uh, so uh, if I see any cars, you know I'm going to stop and chop it up with the um, good folks that built it. So I'm going to see if I can find the owner right now. And uh, get a little more detail on this one. This is a little side trip here uh, off the highway. Um, so I'm just off in the cuts and saw this uh, parked out in front of the shop. But you can see he's using Heim joints here for all his connections. So that's nice. Again, big beefy weld. Oh, uh, that's cool. That drag link's connected by a connecting rod here. So that's a pretty cool little detail. So anyways, let me get in here and see if I can find the owner. Uh, we're here at, uh, I believe it was called Taps Truck Accessories and Paso Robos. So let me see if I can find the owner of this one. Get a little more detail on it for y'all. So you said that you're the one that owns this uh, rat rod out here? Yeah. What's your name? Kyle. 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 Brett. Nice Please to meet, meet you. you. Uh, so uh, tell me a little about it. It looks like you got a mock-up block in there? Yeah, just a little mock-up motor. Okay. Big block Chevy. Big block Chevy. Yeah, I got a blower motor for it. It's sitting right over here. And you go run the automatic transmission too? Yeah, it's a turbo 400 with a manual valve body in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. That'd be cool. All right, what, what are you going to put in it? It's going to be a 454? No, it's got a 535 big block Oh, Chevy. that's like a big mountain With motor. A, a 71 blower on it. Yeah, come oh, check wow. it out. Check it out. And this is Taps Auto or Taps Truck Accessory? Taps Truck and Auto, yeah. Okay, and Paso Robos. That's the motor right there. Oh, man, y'all, take a look at this engine. This thing taller than I am. Take a look at that. Slow, Holy cow, slow, slow look at this. Motor. Just so y'all can see how big this engine is. My goodness. This thing is nuts. <laughs> I like this. This is dope as shit though. 
You got the big belt drive here. Right. Come back in about a month. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. oh, I don't live down here, but maybe I'll come through next time I'm I'll in the area. Some videos, man. Oh, nice. Uh, so this is an 871? It's a BDS 871. Okay, so 871 blower. Got the big belt drive here. Yeah. Uh, look like electronic water pump. So oh, we got yeah. electric water pump here. Custom manifold. Looks like he did some weld work there for what's probably a nitrous injection, I would imagine, at yeah. one time. It used to be injected, but I took yeah. all of it off. I just, I can't afford the injection anymore. This is nuts. Got the double pumper Hollies up on top. What are those, uh, 800? Uh, just 750s. 750s, yeah. big enough. You big got enough. two of them. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's nice. Oh my goodness. Aeromotive regulator. So yeah, this thing's getting ready to go in soon. Yeah, I, I can't that. wait to see this thing done. And a big scoop up, Aeromotive, just a- Aeromotive pump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Where are you gonna run? How many liters is that? Oh, I don't know. This is yeah. this is an A one thousand. I I don't remember how much, but oh, okay. It, it'll it'll run it'll run just six pounds constantly with oh. that with that regulator and that spring. It'll run six pounds. Yeah, I guess you don't need much as like carbureted, so they only no, run a six, six pounds. Six pounds. Yeah. So 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 I used to have four injectors up here, and I had eight injectors down here with coil packs. Okay. And I still have all the injection. I just, uh, I just, like I said, with this setup, I just want to do it simple. Nice. So I'm going to save the injection for later. And, uh, but the spring right here, you just change the spring out and it'll regulate you 60 pounds, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's got a real, it's got a light spring in here now. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, all I need is six pounds for this. Man, this is nuts, man. I like it. Yeah. And they got a big scoop on top. This thing gonna be sucking all kinds of air, probably some birds with it too. Yeah, yeah, bird so. catchers. <laughs> so this is nice. I'm glad I stopped off the highway here. So that was just pure coincidence and found this cool ass shop where they build trucks, I guess, right? Yeah, we do a little bit of everything, man. Oh, you guys do fabrication work? I do a lot of fabrication. Yeah, I yeah. see you got the lathe back there. Yeah, I got, got the welder. Yeah, you guys got a lot of stuff. Oh, you got there. CNC yeah. also? Oh man, I didn't know this was gonna be a shop review. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, just another thing, Welder, you know. Welders for everything, welders. You know me. CNC table. <laughs> Look at the CNC table there. No, they got it all set up. All kinds of welders. You got the tig benders. Tig, tig welder over here. You yeah, got tubing tire benders. Machines. You got acetylene torches. This this shop, shop's putting in work, y'all. Got the uh, tire machines, the balancer. So this is a full-blown shop. They're doing all kinds of stuff here. The trucks. You can see the diamond plate over there that they're cutting out on this CNC machine. So if you guys are in the Paso Robos area and you need some custom fab work done for your truck, go ahead and hit them up. Taps Truck Accessories, Tap, right? Taps Truck and Auto, yeah. Yeah, Taps Truck and Auto on, what was this, third? This third is street? 13th and Spring. 13th Street. All right, so uh, y'all know how I do it. I ain't shy, I'll just jump right in someone's mix and start asking questions. So this is how we do it, road trip. We're just going down to the dunes today, but you know, I'm gonna stop off and I'm gonna find something for y'all, but I'm gonna get back with you guys when we're on the road for now. Uh, but if y'all in the uh, Paso Robos area, go ahead and check, check out this shop, Taps, on 13th Street, all right? So that was a cool little stop there at Taps. Uh, check it out if you need any fabrication work, like I said. But now we're here in downtown Paso Robos. Uh, we're just gonna try to find a spot to eat. Uh, and then we're gonna get back on the road because I'm trying to get to these dunes. And then we're gonna uh, rip it up at the dunes, hopefully, get some footage for you guys. If not, we'll at least talk about uh, this Colorado. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. So, we're over here at Streetside Ale House and Eatery. So, we're gonna check out this spot. Hopefully, they got a table for us because I ain't trying to stay long. I'm just trying to get something to eat real quick and get back on the road. But this. Cool little spot. They got a little outdoor patio here. Uh, let me show you all the building real quick. Don't want to lose my place in line, but it's street side ale house and eatery. So we're gonna slide into this spot real quick and see if we can't get something to eat. Or maybe a cold beer. Alright, so um, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. So we just slide up and get some seating at the bar. So I'm gonna just get something to eat real quick. Get a couple drinks and then hit the road. All right, so I put my order in. What I ordered was the bacon wrapped jalapenos here. 
and then some wings and a honey sriracha sauce. So um, I'll let you guys know how good that is. Uh, I just got a little light snack to tie me over till dinner. I uh, really just want to get back on the road. Uh, looks like the food's coming now. Looks delicious. I also got this double IPA here. This is the Barrel House Big Sur double IPA. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, but here are my wings. Here are my bacon wrapped jalapenos. So I'm gonna eat this up real quick and uh, get back on the road trying to get to these dunes. Uh, but this double IPA is delicious. Again, that's the Barrel House Big Sur double IPA. Yes, yeah, it's just tasting. So let me tear up this food and I'll get back with y'all a little later down the road. All right, all right, family. So we just got our meal. It was good. Had a bomb ass drink. It was a double IPA. I think it was called Big Sur, made here in uh, Paso Robos, California. That shit was fucking lit. That was good shit right there. So I'm feeling cool. About to hit the road and uh, get on down the coastline, try to get to these dunes and get a video shot for you guys. So we're about to leave Paso Robos right now. We're downtown, you can check it out. Cool little spot to eat. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but uh, I'm probably mentioned it already in the um, earlier in this video. So uh, let me get back in this truck and get back on the road. That's where we're passing through Paso Robos right now. Uh, wineries and oil fields is all that I know they have out here um, but we're passing by Firestone Walker Brewery take a look at that there we're in Paso Robos so that's the Firestone Brewery uh, Firestone Walker I should say brewery there in Paso Robos so uh, we're back on the road we got about another 39 minutes is what Waze is saying till we get there. Again, uh, we're just driving along on the highway. Hopefully we get there soon. I want to get there before the sun starts going down. I want to get some footage for you guys uh, driving on the dunes. All right, again, we're in a Chevy Colorado. It's a 2020. Uh, it does have a six cylinder. So that's a V6, uh, 3.6 liter, I believe is what it is, putting out about 308 horsepower, if I'm correct. Um, to be honest, I know this was a kind of a, a car review, so to be honest, um, it doesn't feel like 308 horsepower. Um, to me, it feels closer to about 275. Uh, so I don't know how accurate those numbers are or uh, if it's just the gearing that makes it feel a little slower and underpowered. Uh, it does good on the highway. I have to admit, it seems to get pretty good gas mileage for a uh, V6, so I can't complain there. We're getting about 20.5 miles per gallon. I know we we're at 20.8 earlier, so it dropped a little. I have been passing people on the highway, so that could be a, um, attributing to the lower gas mileage. But again, it's just 0.3 difference. So yeah, 20.5 miles per gallon. That's not bad for a V6, especially if it's putting out 308 horsepower. So I can't really complain about the engine. It is what it is. Uh, I know I judge a lot of things on what I typically drive. So my V6 is the Audi, uh, supercharged. 3.0 liter uh, it's gonna be smaller than this one by uh, a little over a half a liter uh, but it just feels so much more responsive uh, in the Audi especially when you're passing on the highway this one seems a little sluggish so that's just my personal opinion on it um, your opinion may be different if you own a Chevy Colorado I'm not trying to bash on a Chevy Colorado However, compared to the Audi V6, it feels a little sluggish. I think the vehicle is, it's decent. I'm not gonna say there's anything really necessarily wrong with it, uh, except for interior space. Uh, I know I said that in a 
earlier video uh, and I'll probably go into it in this video a little bit too because this is a review of the Chevy Colorado um, but the interior space is probably the biggest drawback I also don't like the door pockets they're really small uh, I think I mentioned that in the earlier video as well uh, the power output it's acceptable I can't really say there's anything wrong there uh, I, again I'm just comparing it to my uh, Audi V6 it, it feels a little sluggish uh, I do however like the infotainment system uh, it's very responsive uh, it's not sluggish at all uh, when it comes to uh, the inputs when you actually want to swipe across the screen or select something uh, it does react fast so I can't say anything wrong about that actually I think this is probably one of my biggest highlights of this vehicle uh, although the screen is a little small by today's standards um, everyone's going to a 12 inch display for the instrument panel which this one still has analog um, again this is not a premium vehicle so I don't expect it to have a digital display but uh, the center display here for the infotainment system by today's standards uh, most people are going to a 10 inch display on the infotainment system I'd say this is acceptable because it's not a premium vehicle so I'm gonna say a 2020 Chevy Colorado with the bare bones entertainment system is plenty adequate all the uh, controls are within reach and they all make sense I haven't had any issue here with uh, finding a volume knob let's say or adjusting the AC or heater everything seems to be in place my hand finds it easily uh, I don't have to think twice about where the dials are uh, it's laid out pretty well so I'm not going to complain about that um, it is a truck so the truck motor drives like a truck would it's not very smooth um, when it comes to the engine it you can feel the engine it's a little rough through the chassis uh, but not a big deal uh, again it's a truck so it's kind of expected so I'll get back with you guys we're on the dunes we're about 30 minutes out as you can see there we had a good lunch in Paso Robos and I'll cut back to you guys when we're uh, at location. All right, fam. So we stopped at a gas station. We're at Arco gas station. I'm getting some gas for the truck. We're at Arco on five cities. I'm not even sure what city we're in. Uh, and usually I wouldn't even vlog about this shit, but I went inside this AM PM over here and had the weirdest shit happen to me. So I opened up the fridge, about to grab some beer, and I heard a voice say, excuse me. It was like a female. So I thought it was someone in the fridge saying something to me. So I was like, hey, you talking to me? It didn't answer. I closed the fridge. All right, and I started walking around the store a little more, looking at chips and stuff. And I heard the same voice again, excuse me. It was a female, weird as shit. And the dude next to me said, hey, did you hear that? I said, yeah, I heard that too. I thought I was going crazy. He said, I heard it too. And then another dude walked in the store and said he heard it. So there was three people that heard this shit and there was no female in the store. So it was the weirdest shit. Looked around the whole store, didn't see any female in the store. The dude that heard it too also worked at the store and said, hey, there ain't no girl, I'm back. And so the other dude not the dude that worked there but another customer walked in and said hey he heard that shit before at the same store at this art uh arco this am pm so i mean i just had to stop real quick and vlog to you guys because this was the weirdest shit i'm at this gas station heard some females say something and you know i ain't one to just start talking about uh some hauntings and that sort of thing but i just wanted to like let you guys know what just happened because that was hella weird uh, but we're gonna get right back to this trip um, I don't know if y'all know about this Arco and whatever town this is on five city drives and fourth street 
uh, near, um, we're about maybe 15 minutes away from the beach here at this Pismo Beach. So um, I'm not sure if y'all know this gas station, but if it's haunted, go ahead and um, comment below because I'm kind of curious now what the fuck went on because this shit is weird. Uh, but I'm going to get back to pumping this gas and I'm going to hit the road trying to get to these dunes because the sun's about to go down soon. So let me get back on the road. All right, fam. So we're back in the vehicle and driving down to the beach. Uh, we're about four minutes away here. So we're about four minutes away. But that little ghost encounter was in Grover Beach. So I saw the sign for the city that I was in. That happened in Grover Beach. So again, if you guys know anything about that AM PM in Grover Beach, uh, put in the comments below because I'm kind of curious. There were three of us that heard it. Um, and it was just weird. It was exactly the same phrase. And I heard it twice. Once we're on the beach, we'll test out this truck, see how it performs in the sand. And then I'll do a quick little review on the truck. Really just my opinion. I ain't nobody, just a small YouTuber hoping to grow bigger um, through the help of you, my audience. So um, I'm gonna say it real quick before we get to the beach. If you like what you see today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Remember, hit that notification bell to be notified of my next episode because I do drop fresh content weekly. Um, I'm putting in this work, y'all, just for you guys um, and to try to hope, hopefully grow this channel. And it's something a little bigger, something that I could put full time into uh, right now. It's just a part time gig. Uh, but again, I'm trying to do as much as possible so uh, I can entertain you guys. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, let's get to this beach now. So we're here at the Aoceano uh, State Beach. This is the Pismo Beach area. Um, so I'm going to ask the ranger where the dunes are. I really like to um, go where the four-wheel drives, the quads, and dirt bikes are. See if I can't get some footage for you guys. Um, get some action shots. Uh, so we'll talk to the ranger here and when we buy our entry fee. Um, the fees are vehicle per night, $10. Uh, senior citizen eight. Hello. Hello. Is this where the dunes are? Where yep. like the four wheelers and the quads and everything are? Okay. And uh, well, I'd like to get a day pass. I just want to check it out. Mm -hmm. I haven't been here before. Well, welcome. I'll get you a little map with some uh, information about our fabulous state park. How much is it? Just five dollars. Only five? What a deal! All right. Uh, I don't think we see. changed our prices since we opened. Anything <laughs> I can do for you? No, that's it. So there we are, Oceano Dunes State Vehicle Recreation Area. All right, so we're gonna check this out. So we just drive right onto the dunes. Right now, I'm in two-wheel drive. We're driving down the beach y'all so i guess this is the only place in california you can drive on the beach so it's pretty cool we're 
we're gonna just drive down the beach now and check it out again this is my first time here so I'm just getting to know this area uh, right along with you guys uh, it's beautiful you can see there almost sunset unfortunately because I took a long time to get out here uh, but it is just gorgeous here I'm hoping to find some trails where I can uh, just drive this truck around and see how it does in the sand I'm not trying to get stuck or anything I feel about the Chevy Colorado so far it's all right it's a cool truck not enough interior space for me but other than that I mean I can't really complain uh, let's take a look at the fuel economy uh, we're doing actually a little better than we were before I don't know if y'all can see there uh, but we got 21.1 miles to a gallon I think we we're at 20.9 earlier 20.8 uh, so not doing too bad on fuel economy. Uh, that's in two-wheel drive, not um, not auto. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can find some trails. I'm really not sure anything about this beach, and I don't want to just start driving somewhere where I'm not supposed to drive. So I'm really looking for another truck to kind of follow their lead at this point just so I could get an idea of how uh, how to navigate this beach there's tons of sand dunes out there okay I just don't know if I'm allowed to just go driving around anywhere out there and I don't want to get stuck too obviously I'm out here with just one truck today I don't have a, a buddy system so I can't go get it stuck in the sand otherwise it'll be a long day for me Yeah, I don't know. Some of these people look like they come here all the time. This guy got some kind of little, um, I don't know, wind block there underneath his uh, trailer. I don't know if he set that up just for the day or if it's something he always, he leaves out permanently. So not too many people considering uh, it's going into the weekend. I thought there'd be more people here. I was actually a little worried that, um, that we wouldn't make the thousand car limit on the beach because uh just so you know there's a thousand car limit once they reach a thousand vehicles they won't let anyone else on the beach oh so i'm gonna head through here hopefully i don't get stuck um and we'll just check out this dune so again hopefully i don't get stuck but i'm gonna romp through here real quick and see how it goes It looks like some people even pull their trailers out here. That's crazy. But man, it looks like they set it up to where they can stay here almost permanently. They put, I guess they, I don't know why they would put those barriers down underneath their, their trailer. This looks like so permanent. get stuck though but check it out I'm not gonna go down that y'all I'm glad I looked first but I am definitely not going down that one because I don't think I will make it back up uh, but check out the dunes here this is cool it's beautiful It's absolutely beautiful out here and the dunes go forever uh, however we're just in a Chevy Colorado so I ain't trying to get stuck in the sand so I am going to not go down that if you can see there 
I am definitely not going down that. All right, we stopped real quick, y'all. Um, I'm not gonna continue because if you see there, this is a huge drop off. Uh, if I was in a more capable vehicle, I would try it. But if I go down here in a Chevy Colorado, I am not coming back up this hill, y'all. Uh, this is a big sandy hill. Uh, of course, the dunes go forever. Way out there. I uh, would love to explore it. Uh, but there is no way I'm going to get back up this steep hill uh, in a Chevy Colorado on street tires. So we're here on the top. Um, okay, the beach there. Sorry for the wind, but I can't control the wind because we're on the coast and there's a lot of wind coming in off the Pacific. Uh, it's about sunset, so we're running out of time here. Uh, but go ahead and check out that beautiful view. The Pacific Ocean, the, the hills there along the coast. We got the ship in Colorado. We got some dunes that go into the distance for a long, long ways. If you in the four wheel drives, ATVs, dirt bikes, you gotta check this out if you're in California because it's not gonna be around that long. Uh, if, let, if it's voted that they close it down. So uh, if you wanna keep something like this open, you're gonna have to go in and petition to keep it open. But again, we're here in Chevy Colorado. It's performing well, even on street tires. Really no complaints on this vehicle except for space. Uh, but again, it's just a truck. Uh, so that doesn't fit for my needs like I've stated before. But other than that, the truck is performing well, getting about 20 miles per gallon on the highway. Uh, I know it was said uh, that it was 30 miles per gallon on the highway is what the rating is 20 miles in the city but i'm getting 20 miles per gallon on the highway which is still not that bad for a v6 uh so not a big deal i think it's good i appreciate the vehicle all right so we're about to get in the truck now and start hitting the road So we're down here. We're gonna end it on the beach here. It's a little windy, so I do apologize. But this is the end of the video. Colorado. We're here on Pismo Beach, AKA Oceano State Park here in California. So we're gonna end it here. And I appreciate all you guys that watch the channel. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you like what you saw today. And hit that notification bell, be notified of my next episode because I do drop fresh bangers weekly. And until next time, stay good, family. Peace.